Hello, and welcome to another episode in Green Frog Productions' Trackside Travels video series. In this program, we'll follow along with Nickel Plate Berkshire number 765 on various trips through Northeast Indiana and Northwest Ohio. Let's start things off with 765 on its return trip from a break-in run between Fort Wayne and Muncie, Indiana on July 11, 2012. Norfolk Southern's Nickel Plate Heritage Unit is accompanying the Burke on today's test run, and the two will travel together for the next several excursion runs on the unit's schedule. Fast forward to August 22nd, and we catch the 765 as it returns to Fort Wayne, having successfully completed excursion trips to West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. The locomotive has performed so well that NS has allowed it to run without a backup diesel. The next year, we catch up with the 765 again on its Wabash Cannonball public excursion on October 26, 2013. The day dawned cloudy and windy, and we were able to intercept the 765 at the west end of the siding in Roanoke, Indiana. Next, we catch up with the Wabash Cannonball at a picturesque farm just east of Peru, Indiana. Later in the day, on its return trip to Fort Wayne now, we catch the Wabash Cannonball trip as it passes through the scenic cut near the hamlet of Rich Valley, Indiana.
At sunset near Huntington, the 765 puts on a dramatic show as onlookers gather to catch this beautiful locomotive in action. On April 26, 2014, we catch the 765 on another test run, this time along Norfolk Southern's Fostoria District between Fort Wayne and Lipsick, Ohio. On the final leg of the test trip, 765 rolls through Edgerton, Indiana. Back home at the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society, the 765 slowly pulls into the Historical Society complex and gives us an up-close view of this amazing machine. On May 3rd, the 765 kicks off its summer excursion schedule with an employee appreciation trip between Elkhart and Bryan, Ohio. Here we see the 765 as it navigates former Cincinnati Northern trackage in Bryan in order to turn the train and head back to Elkhart.
The next day, we catch the excursion as it rounds a broad curve on the east side of Kendallville, Indiana. On another deadhead trip for an upcoming employee appreciation special in Toledo, Ohio, the 765 slows as it prepares to enter Norfolk Southern's super busy Chicago line at Butler, Indiana. A few minutes later, the 765 has entered the Chicago line and we catch it in Edgerton, Ohio. On July 12, 2014, the 765 ran a round-trip public excursion between Detroit and Fort Wayne. We caught up with the excursion just south of Butler, Indiana. We caught up with the lengthy excursion as it crosses Anthony Boulevard just east of downtown Fort Wayne.
After passengers were dropped off downtown for a few hours at Fort Wayne's Three Rivers Festival, 765, minus the passenger cars, traveled to the west side of Fort Wayne to turn the consist at the Hugo interlocking. Here we see 765 as it backs toward Hugo to change direction. Later in the day, the excursion returns eastbound, and we catch it east of Grable, Indiana. The excursion returns on Sunday, and we catch it as it leaves downtown Fort Wayne, again at the Anthony Street crossing. Racing ahead to our final shot for this episode of Trackside Travels, we catch the 765 as she pounds the diamonds with the CSX Garrett subdivision in St. Joe.
Thanks for watching. Please stay safe and happy rail fanning.